everyone thanks for joining my channel it's Rocky and I am back I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing but we are gonna talk about my 2019 goals to see how well I did so let's get right into it wait did you just start watching this video and not hit the subscribe button whoa hit the subscribe button right now let's get the party going so last year in 20 18, I came on here and talked about how New Year's resolutions are so stupid. Typically people make these resolutions that are more like wishes with no plans behind them. And so what I thought I would do is make goals for 2019 and a plan to go with each of those goals. And I talked through each of those with you. What I was interested in, because I didn't go back and look at my goals all year, I was interested in finding out how well I did. So I'm going to go through that with you one by one. So the very first thing you guys know I have been like laser focused on this and that was uh, growing my YouTube channel. No surprise, no secret, I am really trying to make this thing work for me and with your help, guess what? We have been growing. I have gained over 600 subscribers over the last uh, year. Before that I only had about 200 subscribers at about the time that I made the video and since then we've gotten up to 800. So together we have grown about 600 strong and I am looking forward to what 2020 has to offer. The next goal I talked about was being social and I talked about that in many different ways. Social meaning social networking and um, networking my professional career, all different things that just were not natural for me. One of the huge things I talked about, which I got a lot of feedback about afterwards, was actually giving hugs. I don't give hugs and I had this whole long reason why I don't do that. I went outside of my comfort zone, cringing and all, and gave hugs to everybody. Everybody who wanted one got one this year. And those of you who know me in real life can attest to the fact that I did it. Um, and what I learned from that, because I did it, I learned that one, I still don't like it. <laughs> I still don't like it, so I still have to work on it. Two, being social, going out and talking to people, conversing with strangers, being um, genuinely interested in what they have to share, all these different things are just unnatural for me. They've always been unnatural for me. Um, but I did it this year and I got a lot of benefits out of doing it. I, for the first time in my entire life, got a mentor <laughs> because I was networking and I found a mentor, um, made a few new friends along the way. Of course, grew my YouTube social media presence, my Instagram social media presence. I'm almost at a thousand on Instagram. So there are some benefits to it, but for, for me, it just takes a lot of work and it's just gonna have to be a journey for me. So I will keep up with the social, being social goal. The next one is taking a risk. And I'll be honest with you, taking risks, I described it as like, you know, taking risk in my fashions, doing things that I don't normally do, or, you know, taking advice in places where I normally feel like I got it covered and I don't need any advice. So taking risk and allowing other people to advise me, taking risks in um, uh, my job, taking risks in terms of my fitness, like doing workouts and stuff that I've just never done before. And I'll be honest with you, that whole taking risk thing is just not in my DNA, not at all. And I didn't really do much of it. However, however, I did do a little bit. And I'll you know link down below some of the videos, but I did straighten my hair, which I never straightened my hair. I straightened my hair and I shared that with you guys. I tried some new techniques for my hair and I shared that with you guys as well with my Shea Bay powder um, journey. I also um, shopped in some non-conventional places and I shared that with you guys and to my detriment, <laughs> those risks weren't the best, but not the best experience at all. However, that I just learned from it. The L's are just not, they're not losses, they're lessons. And so I did learn from it. And I feel like with what I learned with just those little things, okay, huh, don't quote me on this one. I think I'm gonna venture out just a little bit and take a few more risks in 2020. So the other thing that I vowed that I wanted to do was to grow my professional career. And one of those things was the fact that I just didn't feel like I was pushing the boundaries enough 
and you know being my own advocate and just trying to do things that were outside of the box that would help grow my career grow my organization grow my department all these different things um, in 2019 I felt like that was something that I focused on heavily and um, you know made that a point to do um, I did I was presented with an opportunity to um, get, you know be promoted and go into another direction with my career which I, gl I gladly accepted I was able to do something new so my work was fruitful I did move into another lane and do some new work and um, I have um, a huge a career path that's ahead of me as a result of the work that I've done in 2019. So I'm very excited about that. And the very last thing that I said that I wanted to work on for 2019 was making memories. And uh, making memories was more around um, being invested in having experiences that will last a lifetime. Not just buying things, not things that are fleeting and in the moment, but actually creating memories. And that was something that I kind of did marginally just like my shirt says comme si comme ça kind of means so so in French I feel like some of these things you know along this list I kind of accomplish in a so so manner which means I just have to keep working at them and make them a journey making memories is another one I was able to go on a trip with my girlfriends and we made some amazing memories together when we took a trip this summer and I think you guys remember that because I shared it with you and then along the way I've been making it a point to kind of um, hang out with friends and family and make some memories um, along the way. So I think that um, my husband and I <laughs> are going to focus on that for 2020. We're going to kind of try to plan trips for ourselves and just build some memories for us. We've worked long enough and hard enough to deserve trips now, I think. <laughs> and we're gonna start taking trips and I'm gonna share those with you. I have been given permission to share my trips with my husband with you, so we'll see how that goes. So all in all, for my goals for uh, 2019, I feel like I did a decent job. Um, I kind of followed along the path that I made for myself for 2019 and I did okay, I could do better. So, which brings me to my goals for 2020. Uh, 2020, I actually, I wrote them down. I am prepared. <laughs> Number one is no surprise. I think this is one that all people have and that's the get fit, get healthy. But the way that I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna go with eating whole foods for 2020, meaning I'm gonna try my best to prepare all the foods that I want to eat. I'm gonna try to stay away from processed and prepackaged foods as best I can. I am, of course, gonna have cheat days because I just love my snacks. I love my sugary things. I'm gonna have my cheat days, but definitely gonna be focused on eating whole foods for 2020. And I'm also gonna be improving my workouts. In 2019, I focused a lot on cardio and it was only if and when I felt like it. Definitely gonna diversify my workout plan to include you know, more weight training, more calisthenics, and, and of course, continue to have my cardio in there. And I feel like I'm gonna have a difference in overall health improvement 360 by the end of the year as a result of these changes. Number two, I talked about the fact that I have a couple of opportunities presented to me in my professional career, um, one to develop a new path and then another for um, uh, possible growth in my career path trajectory. I'm going to be focused on building those out, feverishly working on building out that career development over the next year. And so that's going to be a, a lot of work. It's going to be tough. You're going to see me get on these videos with, you know, bags under my eyes, extra gray hairs and raspy dry throat and voice. And But I'm going to keep going. <laughs> but just know that that's what I'm working on in the background. The third one is, uh, you know, sort of a continuation of what I talked about for 2019, building my social network and my professional network. Again, I felt like I did it okay, so, so. So I feel like it's a journey that is worth continuing for 2020 and I'm gonna keep doing that. I'm gonna make myself go out to these events. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna leave the house and I'm gonna go out to these events. I am going to make myself have conversations with people in places that I probably normally would not have conversations with people. Just kind of continue to build up what I started in 2019. The next one is something that I think 98.6% mm, of Americans <laughs> promise every year and that they're gonna read more. And I'm gonna be realistic with you know my, my focus and the amount of time that I have available. I'm gonna to commit to reading maybe six books this year. 
I know a lot of you are laughing like six books that's it yes six books that's what I can give you in 2020 and I'm gonna tell you what those books are every time that I'm reading them just so I can keep myself accountable but I'm gonna read six books in 2020 and the last goal for 2020 is my educational and professional development like training and things like that last year I promised myself that I would do that I was going to put aside some of my extracurriculars to make time for that I did not properly put those things aside. I was working on a few things at the same time and I did not prioritize myself in 2019. So in 2020, I am 100%, hold me to this now, you writing it down? I am 100% gonna do some prof professional training and professional development. So that means taking courses, you know, doing some training, all of the stuff that goes with that. Um, I have a list of things that I want to do and those are the things that I'm going to do in 2020. So that brings us to the end. However, what I need you to do is come back. I have a different way that we're going to be doing our video series. I'm going to do a continuation of the story every other video and then I'm going to be doing like hauls and um, styling videos and dance videos in between so the next video is going to be um, a, a haul video that I want to share with you so Sunday's video is going to be a haul and then next week's video we're going to continue this story to talk about the top 2020 fashion trends that you need to be aware of for 2020 I've been doing all kinds of research to figure out what are going to be the fashion trends for 2020 now listen you've been watching my videos you know I've been spot on in predicting what the trends are going to be regardless of what the beauty magazines the runway says you know I've been on trend way ahead of all of that so naturally I know what's going to be in for 2020 but plus all these other fashion experts have released what they think the trends are going to be so I'm going to mesh that all together and I'm going to get you right for 2020. I don't want you out there looking bad so you need to come back tune in to find out what the top fashions will be for 2020. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Share it with your friends. Leave me a comment. Hit that like button. Bye.